I'm Roger Goodell, and I'd like to establish that today will mark history, as I am announcing the 2020 NFL season will start with a 55-round draft. This will mean every team at this current time does not have any players on their team, and all players will pu be put in the draft pool. Also, to my left, I have Walter H. Your mom's pussy, the new owner of the Washington football team. Hello, uh, I'm Walter, the legendary USC QB who is now the owner of the Washington football team. I'm announcing that I plan to really coat the franchise and make it more badass than any other NFL franchise. Hello and uh, welcome to a new series. As you can tell, we'll be uh, relocating the Washington football team and having a fantasy draft at Mr. Goodell's order. Um, yeah, I've tried recording this series like 20 times. There we go. Yeah, I mean, like we had the team drafted. We played the first game and then uh, we missed the game winning field goal and I hit my desk and my monitor got unplugged. So I went to go plug it in and it unplugged my computer. So that recording was scratch among the other difficulties we had before that. So here we are and we'll, um, yeah, we'll be definitely, uh, winning a Super Bowl in this series. And, uh, here we are introducing you to, uh, the owner slash coach, uh, really the owner for the first season so we could relocate, but Walter H. Your mom's pussy, the, uh, USC quarterback legend. Don't let anybody tell you he's not a legend because he threw more interceptions and touchdowns and is only two years starting and never really won much. Uh, he's a legend, trust. Would you be shocked if uh, the first time around I set up the league, I uh, did it wrong? Here we are at the fantasy draft. Let's go. And uh, with our first pick, we'll be selecting uh, Khalil Mack. Very good player. Uh, mainly picking him over everybody else. He's 29 and on defense because if you, if you don't know, I'm, I'm not very good at defense. So with our second round pick, we're going defense again. The young stud originally drafted in Miami and they traded him for whatever reason. Mika Fitzpatrick. Let's go, baby. Yo, I was thinking about picking him in the second round. He's here in the third round. We have to go defense again. Bobby Wagner, bro. Hey, this team's coming together. Whoa. Our uh, next pick is going to be uh, the Maniac. I think it's a stupid fucking nickname, but Darius Leonard, another great linebacker. Our uh, next pick is going to finish out our linebackers. Uh, the young stud, Devin White, 92 speed. We we had, it. we had to do it. We had to do it. We're going back to the secondary. Another young, good defensive player, Desmond King. That, yeah, I mean, our defense is going to be locked. Locks for years. We're going back to safety. So, the plan is, is we'll move Desmond King to the corner. Maybe we'll move. We'll figure that out later. Maybe we'll move Amos because he's faster. But, one of them will be playing corner. Amos, welcome to the squad. Another clamp. Our next pick a lot older than uh, what we've been going after. Uh, another defensive pick. I realized I haven't picked any offense. And the truth of the matter was, was I was going to pick two of this round, but he uh, fucking went. So, Geno Atkins, we need pass rush. Thank you. This pick, we're going offense. Uh, super talented young receiver. I, you know, I was looking at the quarterback. I think there's a quarterback we can get super late that young and has good stats. Not gonna say he's good because, well, he's not. But DJ Chark's 23 with 94 speed. He definitely, definitely worth it. My next pick. I, I was just checking to see if he was here. I don't know if I was gonna go with him, but it's Hollywood Brown, 23, young, 97 speed. We need it. We need it. We're going a uh, corner here, 24. Speed's not where we like it, but Teron Johnson, I feel like it's a good value at this pick. Big corners go fast, unfortunately. Another 
older defensive pick, but I want that pass rush mean, another DT, Gerald McCoy, 32, we don't like that, but we can always draft a defensive tackle in the draft. We're going another corner here, last one, 25, 91 speed, 79 zone, I feel like it's good value at this pick as well. We're actually going to line this pick, 31, 93 overall, superstar depth, so his regression won't kick us hard. I think I, it's, I don't know, man. We're going back to receiver, young, 97 speed. You see the theme with the fucking receivers? They're all fast and young for progression reasons. Oh, I'm going to take him right now before he goes. Another young, fast, <laughs> fast catcher. No fan. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have to go four net here. 92 speed, 89 XL, 84 agility. Kind of low, but those are a little bit easier. Just a straight line back. 70 catching though. Yeah. We need we need offense. Alright, alright, we gotta go. This is the quarterback I was looking at. His uh throwing sets aren't good, but for, I don't know, man. 86 speed. Like his athleticism, his change of direction really like caught my eye. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking here, but Joe Harris will lead the Washington football team to victory. Caleb Von Chason, the rookie from LSU, is going to finish out our D-line, and I think that's going to be our last defensive pick. Um, so, welcome to the team. Uh, Jalen Hurts at quarterback, baby. If, um, we have a little con quarterback controversy going. Because we have Tyree Jackson. I don't think it's a rookie though. I think, well, I guess he never played a game last year, but he was drafted last year. Anyway, really the only reason I drafted him is his 95 throwback or 85 speed. Um, yeah, in case we find that the noodle arm that Jalen Hurts has isn't gonna work. Uh, we have, you know, young, great. For like the speed and youth, she drafted the offense pretty much. Well, all based on speed and youth. <laughs> um, our defense, on the other hand, was a mixture of things. So I, I know Devin King would be like an 87 or something at corner, but we ended up going Amos because, well, the speed factor and the. Lines decent. Caleb on chase on it. I mean, if he progresses, could be pretty good. But I mean, DTs and right end or uh, <sighs> so great. Yeah. So we'll sim here. We're not gonna play preseason, as you can see by the simming. Which don't uh, feel like it's worth it. And we'll upgrade the players that got skill points in preseason. So we got a chart. Then we're gonna go straight to deep threat. Agility, that's always nice. The route running was nice. Release was nice. Pretty damn good uh, upgrade we got there. Devin White. It's be interesting what we do here. I feel like we go on the pass coverage here. Or maybe just get his block. I don't know. I think I'm going to use him. So I think block shedding is probably going to be plus three right there. I'm one man. So... Yeah, now 79 block shedding. It's going to be a beast. Deep threat in the Paris Campbell. I don't know how often we'll see him. He's like the fourth or fifth receiver. He's fifth. And then we'll just go back to Amos. And we'll put in slot. Just so we can get man and zone. And he gets two man and one speed. That's big. 93 speed. See? See? It's working out. And then, uh, yeah, as always, next episode will be gameplay. And uh, 
will definitely come up with a storyline about how Jalen Hurts may be the guy or may not be the guy. You find out. Love you. <laughs> Bye.